hello and welcome to vegan week at our house we are doing a full seven days of vegan eating it's all 12 of us we have 10 kids 16 down to nine months old we're eating vegan all week we don't have any health problems we're not doing it for anything except we want to try it out it's vegan is vegan or plant-based eating is very popular right now and we thought we would jump on the bandwagon and just see what it's like um maybe we have health problems that will be solved we didn't even know about <laughs> Maybe we're gonna feel so awesome that we'll wanna do this forever, I don't know. My teenage boys are on the other side of this camera rolling their eyes because they're not excited. <laughs> so let me show you our grocery haul that we picked up for the week. Here it is, a family of 12 eats vegan for one week and these are our groceries. Did I overdo it? <laughs> She's excited. Did I overdo it? I don't know. I have no idea. I may have underdone it. I may have overdone it. I really don't know. It's so hard for me to say. But I did plan out all our meals and snacks. Actually, snacks were just eating fruit. Kids are eating fruit for snack and nuts. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. And I also will be very upfront with you if we run back to the store for anything. I did not want to buy a whole bunch of processed food that happens to be vegan. I wanted to just keep it fresh and simple as much as possible, but there are a couple items that I did get that are specialty vegan items, and I'll show you that and tell you why I got those. But otherwise, I'll just give you a quick rundown. We got just a little of each kind of berry here that I could find at Sam's Club. Blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. Couldn't get strawberries for some reason online. And then a couple bags of frozen berries. You'll see throughout the week how we use all this, so I won't go through all of that now. We got some snap peas. Huge bag of carrots, rice cauliflower, two heads of cauliflower, two things of tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, and a big bag of like chopped up mixed vegetables that are fresh. Some sweet peppers, one thing of maple syrup. Now, so my kids in Solo use honey in their coffee or tea, and um, honey apparently, we had to look it up. <laughs> Honey is controversial, whether it's vegan or not. I would think it's vegan, but I think some vegans think it's not. So I don't know if they'll keep using the honey. We didn't buy any. We have enough to get by for the week. So you won't see that in this haul, but we might use that. <laughs> I'm just leaving that up to them. Solo said, maybe, he, he said, if people think it's not vegan, I won't use it. So we'll see how that goes. This is a big thing of mushrooms. A bag of avocados, a box of spinach. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, Things of bananas. We don't eat as many bananas as we used to, but I think we will this week. <laughs> Plums, two bags of those. A big box of mangoes, two bags of small oranges. We do have some oranges and apples in our basement that we keep in our storage, long-term storage, emergency stuff, so we have more of that, more oranges. And then two bags of pears. We got this for the whole month, actually, not just for the week, these tortillas, because they are vegan. And these are the tortillas we always use. I think we'll go through them more often because I wasn't sure about bread. It's hard to tell what bread is vegan just by reading the labels and stuff. And then I just, I just decided we have enough baking ingredients. We can make bread if we need to and we can make it vegan, and then we'll use these tortillas a lot because they're easy and I just don't have a ton of time to be baking a bunch of special stuff this week. We'll see how that goes, I'll keep you informed. Two bags of red potatoes, a big box of tomato sauce just because we needed it, uh, two bags of apples, this is Walmart stuff I'm gonna come right back to in a second, a big bag of yellow onions, red onions, romaine lettuce, and then this kind of organic lettuce too two big boxes of grapes and then red grapes and then two big boxes of green grapes and then here's one of the specialty items <clears throat> the kids asked if we could get some vegan burgers and not make them ourselves like buy vegan burgers my younger kids watched a video i think with judah because they were watching vegan videos they were so nervous <laughs> about this and like what are we going to be eating for a week and so they were watching some youtube videos one night and saw these so they asked for these and um, Belle said she also wrote a paper about vegan burgers. So they're getting to try them out. This is one thing we'll do and we're just gonna save it for Sunday's dinner because for us it's very helpful on Sundays. You all have that one day of the week that's the craziest and hardest to cook. For us that's Sundays. And so this will help make sure we eat at home. I think we're gonna try to make our own buns for this. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. I'll keep you informed. But that was one specialty item they did request. And one thing I learned is that vegetarian burgers are a lot cheaper than vegan, actual vegan burgers. <laughs> but it was worth it for that one easy meal. 
These girls are already sneaking some <laughs> berries. Those won't last long. So I'll give you my Sam's Club total. Oh, it includes that big thing of Kleenex and the dish soap. And I'll write that here on the screen. I don't know it offhand. And then this small area here is my Walmart haul also for the week. I got two things of big gallons of black bags. I needed them. Coconut flakes. There's a couple recipes we've been wanting to try that needed that and we were out. Some frozen spinach. Six bags of it. And then we tried cashew milk. We normally buy almond milk, but there's only a few of us that drink it and a lot of my kids don't like almond milk. So in an effort to try something that they could eat on their granola, we're trying cashew milk. If they don't like it, <laughs> They'll just have to eat something different than granola, I guess, because yeah, we're just gonna try it out. I needed some apple cider vinegar, and then these are the other special things I got. I got two dressings. So this is garden French dressing, it is vegan, and this one is creamy Italian. I think the dressings will really help with them dipping their raw veg veggies in and for salads. And maybe we can find some recipes to make some vegan dressing. We got some liquid aminos that we needed and a couple cans of coconut milk. Guys, we need to wash that stuff. I have a lot of kale and collard greens in our garden and green onions. Some tomatoes. We have nuts, I told you that. And then we also had a lot of beans. We had chickpeas that I'm soaking here. I'm about to cook those up for the week. And then I'm gonna do the same with a big bowl of black beans that we already have. So those things will help. And we had some applesauce too. This pouch reminded me that has applesauce in it. I was extremely nervous about this after we had made the decision to do it. And my kids were too. I was much put at ease after I ordered all my groceries and realized this is all stuff we love. So it can't be that hard. And then actually when my kids were bringing in some of the groceries, they were really excited. So I think their nerves are calmed a little too. <laughs> I'm mostly nervous about keeping some teenagers full, so we'll see how that goes. If we end up going and getting some vegan mayonnaise or vegan yogurt or whatever, some vegan ingredients, I will definitely let you know. But our goal is to just use this, so we'll see how that goes. Mom, Sethy likes those. Sethy does seem to like those. <laughs> okay, Seth, let's cut you off here. Mmm. Look at this guy, he's had fun with blackberries. And I forgot to mention that we also have some frozen veggies that we plan to use this week that we already had. So <laughs> that's why it may seem a little shorter on the veggies because we had enough frozen. Yes, that's right. But we're not gonna eat our frozen meat. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try to show you every meal as much as we can. So this morning I'll show you what we had for breakfast. Well anyway, the first morning here, and I was gonna make some oatmeal on the stove. Maybe I still will. But right now we started on on a fruit, what would you call it? a fruit party? Uh -huh. We started a fruit party for breakfast. Um, if, uh, if the children are satisfied, then uh, we're not gonna do any oatmeal. If people are still hungry, maybe we get oatmeal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seth, you want some more? They're devouring the mangoes, bananas and oranges. And uh, we'll see. Uh, who can complain? The best, the best breakfast we ever had. No kidding. Like we could do this almost every day. Yeah, we still have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's so yummy. Dad, dad, This is Monday afternoon, and we have cleaners that come to our house on Mondays, and they came earlier than normal, so it was kind of crazy that we had little ones that were tired. The fruit obviously didn't hold them off that long. It wasn't really the plan for the morning, it just kind of happened. So, anyway, we ended up going through a drive through just to pick up a snack. We had to get out of the house and um, we picked up some french fries. So, guys, I'm just gonna preface this with saying we are not gonna be perfect. We're gonna do some things wrong this week because we don't necessarily know what we're doing. Um, hopefully french fries are vegan. I Don't tell me if they make the batter with milk because we're just gonna move on from here. So. We got home, some little ones took a nap, and, and um, I made this big pot of oatmeal, which is what I planned to do this morning. So now it's around, I, I did four cups of oats, 10 cups of water, just boiled that with a lot of frozen fruit, some cinnamon and vanilla, and a lot of coconut sugar, and some chia seeds too. Just kind of dumped all that in there. It's really good. Now anybody who wants something can have something filling and nutritious. And I think I'm gonna make some kind of thing, if I can find the time, I'm gonna make some thing just to have for throughout the day 
every day. I have a lot of ideas in mind for that. I also put out some nuts here, and this is my lunch I'm about to eat. Some avocado with tomatoes and salt, which is amazing. So far the boys, the oldest two boys, are the most nervous about this whole thing, and they're still nervous. <laughs> Judah, are you full right now? No. He wants me to go get him some chips so he can have guacamole <laughs> chips. <laughs> We're gonna try to make use of what we have mostly. And we have plenty of food. Um, but we'll keep taking you along and showing you what we're eating. It's dinner time, I'm making dinner, and tonight is the first night. It's Monday, Monday's also our day off, so we have a little more time on Mondays, and so I thought it'd be fun to do a couple of um, kind of special recipes just to make everybody be very happy with Vegan Week. <laughs> I hope it makes them happy. So we're gonna try a couple things that viewers sent us. We're making some tacos and we're making some carrot balls. And I'm, I'm trying both of those recipes. I don't think I'm gonna double them right away just in case they're not well loved. Cause normally we double or triple everything, but I'll show you here what I'm doing. I'm starting out with, I had to make a flax seed egg, which apparently in five minutes, this flax seed mixed with water will make an egg like consistency. So it's two tablespoons of flax, ground flax meal, and eight tablespoons of water mixed together so I'm waiting for that. I'm gonna add the rest of these ingredients to my big bowl here. Hi! <laughs> and mix them up. So we'll do three cups of carrots I already shredded here. One cup of oats. One onion chopped. The onion was really big and I want my kids to eat it so I just did half of the onion chopped up. Three cloves of minced garlic which is about one and a half teaspoons. Next, I'm doing one tablespoon of mustard, one tablespoon of ketchup or tomato paste. I'm just gonna use ketchup because it's quick and easy and open already. Yeah. Did you guys know pretzels are vegan? You probably did, like hope. But me, I'm over here reading every label. <laughs> pretzels are vegan, at least ours are. One and a half teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of curry powder, and half a teaspoon of chili powder. I only have one hand to film and do this, so you'll just have to trust me, because <laughs> I can't show you. Next, the recipe calls for two to three tablespoons of breadcrumbs, and I didn't have any bread to make breadcrumbs, so we're using pretzel crumbs. Oh, don't share your big carrot with Seth. I don't know if he can handle that. <laughs> okay, here it is. I'm gonna mix it all up. Oh, and I'm gonna check on my egg. Yeah, I guess it's kind of slimy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we added that all in and Luca's gonna mix it up. <laughs> you may need a spoon. <laughs> Are you a good vegan child <laughs> today? Yes. Okay, this looks pretty chunky. We added the flax in there, but one recipe said to put it in a food processor for a finer consistency if you want. And I do think that might help my kids eat it or be more open to eating it. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And then it sits for 30 minutes. Okay, I can imagine frying balls of this much better. This is after the food processor, and I had forgotten to add salt and pepper, so I added a little bit of pepper, a lot of salt. It's pretty good. It'll be good after it's fried. All right, I'm gonna leave my mess out and work on our main course here. But I'm gonna leave this out just in case we love it so much we wanna make another batch. It'll be a lot easier with all this stuff out. Next up is um, vegan tacos that a viewer, it wasn't, a recipe so I got to try to figure out the cons the amounts but she sent basically what they do she told me to make a paste out of flour of our choice so I'm using whole wheat flour water and taco seasoning so I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that <laughs> Solo's kind enough to fry it up for me we'll give it a try yeah Let's see except the paste I made didn't go very far I have I have this cauliflower left it's not a lot some of it came off. I probably didn't make it the paste right. What do you think? Yeah. Solo made a second batch while I was nursing Seth. Is it thicker this time or thinner? I don't remember what yours was like. Uh, it seems to be staying on better with yours. Solo's the natural cook at all times. And I'm not good at frying anyway. That's why he's doing it. I just eyeball it. I just need to know what we need to do. Okay, I want to see if it tastes like ground beef. <laughs> No, is this supposed to be taste like ground beef? No, 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 don't. Don't, 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 don't insult us. People. No. We are not mimicking any meat. We're just eating good or... It's very good. Yes, it's very good. But let's not mimic meat. Don't, don't call She didn't it. say it mimics meat. She said they don't miss the meat. Okay. 
Okay. So that makes good sense. And then yes. they eat this on taco shells, which we have some vegan taco shells. The taco shells we always buy are vegan. And then we'll put avocado, tomato, for the, those who like tomato, lettuce. It'll be good. Yeah. I'll miss sour cream. I think I'll like this. The kids will like this. Yeah, I'll miss sour cream. I wonder, can we make something out of coconut milk? <laughs> No, they have stuff at the tra not Trader Joe's. The one on the the big one over there. Oh, um, that we don't Whole Foods. Whole Foods. The one we don't go to. <laughs> we're not going to Whole Foods tonight to buy it though, so we're eating. Here it's free. Here's the final result. These are the carrot things. They are very good, actually. The ones we left longer that are crispier are even better. The cauliflower, we kind of figured it out better near the end. So that's what the meat of our taco will be. And then there's lettuce, avocado, tomato, and Micah just realized we can have salsa. I wish I would have cooked those beans already. They're just soaking, <laughs> but it'll be good. So far, everybody that's tried this stuff loves it, but it's deep fried, so who wouldn't love it? Okay, so. The verdict is in. I loved the meal. Micah loved the meal. Okay. Everybody else mostly liked it. <laughs> mostly. Mostly liked it? <laughs> mm. I really liked Some the cauliflower. Some of them did not like it at all. Mm. She really liked the cauliflower. Yeah. Some didn't like it at all. No, We're eating some oranges for dessert. It poked your mouth. It poked your mouth. <laughs> so far, Luca said it was worse than he thought after a first full day of vegan. Oh, yeah. And Noelle said it was better than she thought. And everybody else said it was better than they thought. What about you, Solo? It was exactly what I thought. That's what Judah said. You guys are so much alike. Are you full? I thought I could probably have another. <laughs> Overall, it it went. It was. That was good. We, we've talked about what we're eating tomorrow, and dinner is going to be more like one of our normal dinners, only vegan. Um, so I think that'll go over even better. But I really liked this meal, and some of them need, would need to get used to it a little bit. I was gonna do the whole week in this one video, but I think we've taken way too much time. So I'm gonna end it here, and I will show you next time what the rest of the week turned out like. We'll see if I can put the rest into one video. Thanks for watching today, guys. Bye. Talk to you later.